Welcome back into Morning Moments with Jesus. Pray you had a great weekend. And as you get ready for another day, just pray you take a few moments and uh, just have a relaxing moment with Jesus Christ this morning. As we often say, whether it's been your favorite chair or maybe you're driving down the road right now, but just take a few moments to just take a deep breath and get ready for this week. Yesterday at Sunrise Chapel in our worship time, we talked about spiritual eyesight and being able to see the things that God would have us to see concerning grace and concerning our life and even concerning the world. But one of the words that God kept bringing out was the word change and how change is imminent in most all of our lives on a constant basis. But perhaps someone in our Morning Moments family today is going through some things right now that you really need some things to change in your life in order to get you to the next level or to get you through a difficult situation. Whatever the case may be today, uh, the word change is still on my heart this morning. So the Lord took me to Malachi in chapter 3, verse number 6, that has just a very simple saying from our Lord. But I believe it's one worth mentioning and one, one worth meditating on today. He says, For I am the Lord. I change not. So when we talk about change this morning, one of the first things we see is that we see that we have a God that does not change. He says in his word that I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. Whatever he has been in times past, he is for us right now. And for whatever he is right now for us, he will be for generations to come. So the first thing that we need to understand today in our devotion is that if change is ever going to happen in your life, it's going to have to come from you because the Lord's not going to change. His standard that has been set since the foundation of the world and even before that is going to be the same forever. So there has to be a, a reasoning together, as the Bible says. We've got to come to this conclusion that Whatever is going to take place in our lives, we're not going to convince the Lord to see things our way. We've got to see God manifesting himself into our life to see things his way. So that change has to come by aligning ourselves with the standard of God. He is our standard. He is our rock. He is our foundation. And change comes in our lives when we surrender our will and begin to yoke up with His will. The second thing about change that God wants us to see this morning is you must know what needs to be changed. Don't just say, Lord, change me and make me a better person or make me stop doing this or, or give up this habit. you got to know what needs to be changed. And the only way we can do that is by daily taking a spiritual inventory and say, Lord, this needs to remain and this needs to go. I said yesterday in our worship service, don't always feel like you need to swing for the fence when a base hit will do. In other words, don't try to do it all at one time. Because change seldom happens overnight. Some things do, but most things do not. Don't get frustrated if, it, if it's not working that particular day. You just stay at it. And change will come. Maybe it's a bad habit you need to get rid of. Start today with that change. If you falter a little bit, just keep going, knowing that God is going to bring about the change. Maybe it's a hurt. Maybe somebody has hurt you in times past, and you just can't seem to get past that, and for some reason that's become a crutch for you. Maybe God wants you to say, just let, let, let me change that. Let me change you from the inside out. So my prayer today is to pray that blessing over you today that you would have a heart that is willing to surrender to the unchanging God that we have. And as you prepare for change, you've got to prepare yourself for change. Then God, day by day, moment by moment, decision by decision, will bring about that change in your life. You're already at a place now 
where if you look back upon your life, you can say, I've changed a whole lot since I met Jesus. What he wants to do the same today because he is a God that never changes, but it is constantly changing us. I pray you'll be safe, you'll be strong, and you'll be blessed today. And you'll be a person today that's willing to let the Lord take inventory in your life to bring about that necessary change. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. And until then, as always, you have a great day.